In this video, I'll be discussing PCC method of load balancing on Microtape. Alright, so let's get started without wasting any time. Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like the video. Alright, let's get started. Let me show you a simple, simplest scenario of uh, this load balancing method so i'm using two isps you can um, add even more like you can have even five connection ten connections as well you can increase it um, as you want i'll show you how you can do that okay so in today's video i'll be reading a script and will doing the actions on the win box i'm not just going to copy and paste like other uh, people are doing in their videos i'll give you the script but i'll teach you as well how you can use the script and make it like applied on the win box all right so we have two WAN connections from isp1 and isp2 and we'll be using PCC method that is a little difficult but the best method as far as I know on the Microtik for load balancing. Alright, so it's load balancing plus the failover as well. Step one is to add or configure the IP address so they are IP addresses of WAN, LAN, whatever. And then the DNS, you should add the DNS as well. And then we will be adding the mangle rules. And the step four is we will be adding the routes. Okay. So first, I'll just verify the addresses. Okay, I have both addresses, uh, van one and van two. And, uh, and the LAN three, uh, ether three is my LAN interface. Okay. And then check the DNS okay dns is fine okay so now we are going to the third step so let me uh, just set nat rules okay so i already have set the masquerade rules for both uh, van 1 and van 2 okay so ether 1 on my side is van 1 and ether 2 is van 2 and ether 3 is the uh, lan uh, interface okay so we'll be adding lan rules and uh, i'll try my best to make you understand what these rules are doing okay so let's start with the first one okay so first we are going to click uh, the add button and it's saying add chain input okay so under general the chain will be input okay and the second thing is in interface is ether one as in the van one in interface is the van one and so now it says action so we are going under actions directly without wasting the time action mark connection and new connection and the connection name should be ISP one connection you can give it any name okay so here we are going to set mark connection okay new connection mark you can see that here new connection mark and the name and paste apply and okay so we are done with the first rule and nine are left okay so I'm going to add the second rule if you see it's almost same we just need to change the interface van1 to van2 and then the name of it so i'm just going to click on it copy and changing in the copy of rule and the interface apply and then okay so we are done with the two rules great okay so the third one says output chain is output and we are going to mark the connection okay so let's do that step by step first thing is output so it's not for input rule it's for output rules and uh, we are um, marking the connection so here it is connection mark 
we are going to select ISP1 connection and after that we are going into action and we'll be marking routing and then new routing and that uh, after that we'll set this name okay go to action mark routing new mark routing to ISP1 apply and then copy to ISP2 and ISP2 apply okay all right okay so we are going to add the fifth role now we are done with the four for input and output and now we are going to do pre-routing okay so here we will be adding the network address the network address of your WAN and under actions we will be accepting and in interface is ether3 ether3 is our LAN interface okay let's add the rule and read it again one by one so we are going to add chain pre-routing okay it's already selected and then the destination address is this just copy this and paste this under destination address and action is accept okay action is accept and uh, the last thing is in interface that is LAN interface okay apply and then just read the second rule yeah it's it's same just uh, change of the network address of man to please uh, be focused on this it's a network address not the gateway not the IP address it's a network address of your van connection okay so I'm going to copy it and uh, I'll be just changing the network address of my second van apply and okay okay let's move to the next rule okay so in this we are also uh, going to add pre-routing let me just full screen it so we can easily see and uh, okay so first we are going to add the pre-routing all right so let's add this rule it's a little tricky so you will need to understand this uh, what exactly this rule is doing and if you have more than two connections you can add this up and uh, I'll show you something in in this rule so you will understand how we are doing how we are going to do this okay so first of all uh, I'm going to add a rule with the pre-routing and the destined address type is exclamation mark local and in interface is ether3 so on the main page I'm um, required uh, pre-routing and the in interface is ether3 that is the local address if you are using bridge please use that bridge interface the local interface okay and under advance uh, let me check the rule it says destination address type local okay so let's go to destination address type that is local and inverted all right and uh, then it says per connection classifier both addresses for two to one okay go to advanced and here is per connection classifier both addresses so we are going to select the both addresses both addresses and then two dash one <coughs> I'm sorry it's two that's okay if you have three van connection you are going to type here three if you have four you are going to type here four 
and you will uh, add the rules accordingly okay and um, you will understand in the next rule okay so under extras we already done that and the action uh, just rated action is mark connection and the new connection that is isp connection and password is yes okay <clears throat> so it's mark connection and isp1 connection all right okay so let's add the second one and what's changed here we are ch going to change this number from 0 to 1 okay so I'm just copying the same rule hold on <laughs> I need to apply this first and then copy okay so under advanced I'm going to change this from 0 to 1 if you are using three interfaces you'll be adding these three rules and uh, 3 dash uh, 0 3 dash 1 3 dash 2 okay and uh, we are not going to change this we are going to change this yes isp2 connection apply and okay okay so now we are done with eight rules and uh, two rules are pending and just ignore this it's um, some error in the box or maybe in my windows if i see any error it doesn't go away okay and then the ninth rule that says uh, pre-routing and connection mark is isp connection and in interface is the lan interface okay add new one general pre-routing in interface is the lan interface and mark the connection okay mark the connection and then action is mark routing and what's the name to isp1 all right action mark routing to isp1 is it passed through or not uh, 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 i think it should be yes okay apply and then copy to ISP2 and under general I'm going to change the ISP connection to apply okay that's it we are done with the rules now it was it was hard <laughs> but we are done and I hope you guys understand uh, okay so the next thing is we are going to add four rules uh, sorry four routes okay so first will be uh, destination address is always 0, .0, 0, 0 slash 0 that means traffic to anywhere should use this gateway address so in the first one we will be using the first uh, WAN gateway address and the second WAN gate address and we'll be routing uh, f uh, to ISP1 and ISP2 and we'll be checking the gateway for ping okay and uh, the other two rules we are just uh, will be just changing the distance so what that, that that does i'll show you in this video okay so now go to ip routes okay and um, i already have some uh, routes available let me first delete them these are going to confuse you okay so here I'm going to type the gateway address of my ISP1 and I'll be marking uh, to ISP1 and in the uh, check gateway I'll be selecting ping apply and copy so another one is for the second ISP so to ISP2 and uh, check gateway ping okay and okay and then the next one the third one and uh, i'll be typing the gateway address one and the distance one copy 
gateway address 2 and the distance 2 and I missed the ping uh, okay apply okay all right I'll need to change this to ISP2 apply and okay all right guys our configuration is done here okay so let me show you something first of all I'm using only one ISP and uh, that is the wrong gateway address for you uh, what I was using just to give you an example so you guys will be using the correct one yeah, here it says unreachable so traffic is going to ISP one all right guys that's it for today and uh, you will find the script in the description and if you have any kind of question you can comment out and uh, I'll reply you for sure or even if I could make a video for you I'll make a video for you and uh, this configuration is absolutely working I have worked uh, using this the, the same script on uh, like a lot of uh, routers so you can just copy and paste it but make sure you are uh, doing the right thing the right interfaces the right ip address just make sure you're doing the right stuff okay uh, and that's it thank you so much if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like the video and yeah press the bell icon to be notified of my all videos thank you so much bye bye take care peace out We'll see you in the next video. Bye.